Hello. So I have not been great about being on top of my tasks and the management of those tasks, despite having lots of task management software and solutions. So one of the things I was playing with after watching a uh, video by my buddy Danny Hatcher, um, video probably linked somewhere showing something, um, Morgan released some new interesting awesome features and I wanted to play around with them and I saw how Danny was using it and I thought to myself that is really freaking cool um that's a that's a great idea I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and it's actually been incredibly helpful so what am I talking about so inside of Morgan there are now AI features frames tasks and a lot of this stuff is now interlinked with other like uh tools and integrations that can ultimately create some really awesome automations for helping you get stuff done. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit what that looks like, excuse me, a little bit of what that looks like and how I'm using it, how you could use it and why it's really cool. All right. First of all, what I saw Danny doing and what I've really like, seen some help, uh, helpful utility or usage of is uh, articles. And so there's been that whole talk about like collector's fallacy since like the early days of my channel. And what do you know? I too do fall prey to it. Um, I have some articles in here, like the larger articles that took more time to process. I kind of just like skipped over those for the quick and easier ones to process. And I have a lot of articles sitting in my inbox in raindrop that have been here for a while, a while. Uh, and so like, I do want to actually process these. There are some information, some useful information. I want to like extract that information and put it into my notes so that I can keep track of it and search for it through like, you know, just free text searching or regular expressions or whatever the heck. And I want to actually be able to go through this and process the information. So what I actually saw Danny doing and what I started doing with at least my, the medium articles, which are also incredibly quick is I'm going to actually take some uh, notes. And so let's see, let's find something good. Um, let's see. Okay, here we go. 15 common logical fallacies and how to spot them. And so I can go to this article here. And um, ultimately what I care about is inside of Raindrop, I do, 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 do. Uh, so this is the actual link to the blog, but I'm not going to be watching or uh, reading it in the blog. I am going to actually be reading the permanent copy inside of raindrop because that's what I <laughs> I'm relying on is that let's say the articles disappear forever. I want to actually uh, be able to read them in the future. So in raindrop, I can take this link. Um, so it's like item, you know, uh, it's in that list. This is the item number and the web view, which is this. So this will take me to this article. So if I open a new tab, paste that link and go to it, then it will take me directly to that particular article. And again, if I read it in raindrop, it, it can actually take highlight notes on this. Like I can actually highlight things and take notes on that stuff inside of raindrop. But that link took me to this article. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go to Morgan and I've made a list. So this is just my Morgan tasks, but on my Morgan tasks, I made a list called YouTube demo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new task and I'm going to call that um, 15 common logical fallacies. Um, I normally copy and paste the name. So it's the actual name of the article, but let's just do it easy way. And now I can open up this task to do, do and add in the notes, I'm going to add the link to that article. Now the importance is normal because it's not like I have a pressing urging need that I need to read this like tomorrow. Um, and my estimate, how long do I think it's going to take me to read this article? Uh, looking at the size of this and actually like take my time with it, maybe 10, 15 minutes. If I just want to be gracious, so let's just say 15, um, there's no due date. I don't feel a need to set a due date, but just for the sake of things, uh, I will. Let's say uh, the due date is the 18th, not that it really matters. Um, and okay, now 
this item is sitting here in the list. I could manually drag it onto the calendar, 15 minute block right there, and manually drag it on the calendar and you know schedule it myself. But one of the cool things you can do is frames. And to really show the value of that, I'm gonna add one more article. Let's say speed reading fallacy here. Okay. And you're gonna see something really cool. So let's grab the title and add a new item to the list. Okay, and let's see, this one, let's say, is gonna be another 15 minutes. Okay, we're gonna grab the web view URL and do, 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 edit, add that, 15 minutes, don't care about the due date. All right, the really cool thing that you can do inside of uh, Morgan is now, I'm gonna make a frame. So here's today, and I'm just going to select here, and I'm going to make it a frame. And this frame is going to prioritize filter tests from the Morgan uh, integration, from the YouTube uh, demo list. And I could set a, a criteria for what size of tasks. I could also say like all tasks or like from a particular list. So I'm saying just the YouTube demo list, and I don't care about task size. And uh, yeah, it starts and ends today only, but you could set this to be recurring. So you could set this block to say like, hey, at the beginning of every day, I wanna spend an hour reading articles and have that recur every day. And then this is what's gonna happen. So now smart frame, that task list is YouTube demo and schedule. Okay, I tried to make a demo only thing, but it's not playing very nicely. So I'm just gonna not care. I have other, my other normal tasks and stuff here, but I'm going to try and make it work. So I originally did create this smart uh, frame and I'm just going to drag it down here so that there's free space. So it's not going to care about it. And I'm going to edit this smart frame and I'm going to uh, give it the name of YouTube demo. Okay. And I'm going to save. Now I'm going to run the AI planner, which is going to do crazy stuff to not just this, but also um, several other tasks. I'm going to limit to just today. And now what you can see is that it's going to do some stuff and ignoring this, but looking down here, here's my frame, just the YouTube demo. And you notice that these are the two articles that I just added, the 15 minutes each. And so what it's done is it's looked at this block and says, okay, there's empty space in this frame. You have two items. These two items will fit in this frame. I'm going to add them to this frame. And there's also other things under the hood. So if I set a due date, then it's going to prioritize one with a due date or one with a certain priority over others, scheduling them earlier, especially if that frame is a recurring frame across several days. But also, I have other frames for other like contexts and lists, and it's going to just schedule everything for every frame. Um, maybe that might be a feature add that I could just have it work on a particular frame or just what's visible calendar wise, because I did have this calendar hidden, whatever. But what it will do is it will actually organize all of your things across all your frames, all your calendars, and schedule and place all of your tasks within those frames based on the queries inside them and you can have it schedule multiple days ahead in advance. You can have it add breaks and buffers between things, the default duration of just random tasks with no defined size on them. You could have it also split long tasks. So if you have something you know is gonna take like five hours, you could have it split long tasks so that it's like, okay, an hour today, 30 minutes tomorrow, two hours a, a day you know, later, and split up and a task across multiple days. You might want that, maybe you don't want that. Um, sometimes I benefit from just sitting on a single task and just grinding through one thing and without changing context, but maybe breaking it up might be useful. So who knows? And also scheduling tasks with no due dates because if it doesn't have a due date, but it still needs to get done, it's just there's no particular time it needs to be done by. Uh, and now it's just placed all of these different things from all of my Morgan lists because these frames only are looking at Morgan lists. But here's where the power comes in, is that you can make frames and have them look, so let's schedule here, 
And now it's actually placed those items on my calendar. So now I could go and read those articles. But what you can do in these frames, if I edit it, is inside of the little window here to the bottom left, is the task list is YouTube demo. What I could do is I could actually add other lists. And so I could say, hey, from Todoist or from Obsidian, from various locations in Obsidian. So if I had locations in here, such as inbox and the task items inside of the inbox, uh, based on the notes that have the little checkbox items, you could have all of this stuff scanned, aggregated, filtered, and scheduled for you automatically into frames based on logic, prioritization, due dates, and all of these things. So you could have tasks from everywhere inside of your environment flowing into Morgan, automatically scheduled by the AI planner, and then you just do what it's essentially telling you to do based on your availability, prioritization, due dates, and if you don't complete something and you move on to the next day and the AI planner runs, it will simply try to reschedule something. It's not like you have to unschedule this and move it around and deal with manual stuff. No, just forget about it. Move on. It will continue to try and schedule it and it'll move things forward for you. I already tested that last night because I was like, oh God, I forgot a bunch of stuff. I didn't do stuff that day and I need to move it all over. No, it automatically moves it forward for you. And so in this way, adding like your list of articles to read to a list that then gets scheduled at a recurring block during the day so that you know and have scheduled focus time and it just schedules what it can fit in for you based on estimates of what you're gonna process on that day. That's cool. So that's one of the things that I've been leveraging lately, especially with medium articles because they're relatively short and not really substantial, but I, it's like a guilty pleasure to read lots of medium articles. So I just, add them to a list and then it just schedules them for me during my morning reading time and bam suddenly i'm actually able to take smaller bites out of my pile of things to read without having to sit there and you know open up all the things i have because i've neglected looking at the emails for three months and bam i have all these medium articles i want to read i have to read them all now and it's going to be like two hours or, or i can just put them in a list and read them when i get to them when i want to get to them now I will say that adding a lot of these things to the list, making the time estimates, and then that can be cumbersome. So like, it's probably more valuable, less so for like the, all of the quick and dirty medium articles and more so for those like big meteor articles that you want to take your time and actually digest and work through, but you need to just get around to taking one off of your pile and reading it and escaping the collector's fallacy. And so that is what I'm leveraging this for now. And I'm finding it to be very helpful, very helpful, and I am enjoying it. So thanks, Danny, good tip, uh, using it for myself. So if you didn't know, I'm actually affiliated with Morgan. Uh, I do believe I still have an active coupon code. I'm not sure, uh, double check. It's on my website. Um, I'll put the link to the affiliate code and all the information on my website uh, down in the comment description places things. So check that. Uh, if you're going to sign up for Morgan, check, go through those links. It helps me out and um, I might even get you a discount. I'm not sure if it still works anymore, but I think so. But yeah, check it out. Morgan features. Awesome. I'm still using this app every day, all day since I start, first started talking about it. It's actually one of my like daily driving applications. Uh, even Todoist has taken kind of a little bit of a, a back seat lately because I'll just use Morgan tasks. And now I have these like the frames and the auto scheduling. It's literally one of the most helpful things for the neurodivergent thousand percent. So check it out, sign up for Morgan and use my link for it. Bye.